Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with a walk around video today. I'm in a town here in Alicante called Villena. It's on the uh, highway from Alicante to Madrid. Decided to stop here. Saw a castle on the hill, which I think is the name of a song. Don't quote me on that. So we're going to have a look at a typical village here in Alicante. And the first thing I'm going to say is that it is warm, around 24 degrees Celsius currently. It's half past 11 in the morning and the back of my neck is getting burnt. But uh, that's Alicante, right? Now, let's go for a walk and try and find the castle. It's up on the side of a hill. And we'll also check out what this small town is like. I'm going to be honest, it's not the most attractive place that I've seen in the world. In fact, it's pretty ugly. Not sure what the population is, but I'll put the statistics in the video when I edit. But it looks to be a fairly decent sized town given the types of accommodation that we can see over there. Now, as I said, objective is the castle. And if there's anything else decent to see in this town, we'll check it out also. Fairly ugly looking apartment blocks. Fairly stock standard in Spain in general. Doesn't really matter if you're in Alicante, Castilla-La Mancha, Madrid, everywhere you go in this country, you come across visually unattractive towns. They have some historical monuments, things to see, of course, but in general, the living conditions, pretty dismal. And of course, when you're living in a place like this, you're not gonna be paying a lot of rent, I don't think, to live in a city here. Now, we've gotta try and find the castle. I've got no idea how to get there, but I'm going to ask. Perdón, para el castillo? ¿Pues se sube aquí o? También hay. Vale, gracias. All right, so, apparently there are different ways to get to the castle. This looks to be one of the main strips here. Monday morning, 11.40 a.m. People out and about doing their thing. Got some people over there just done the shopping by the look of it. Looks to be the local butcher or chef or somebody having a fag, having a smoke. And the bloke there saying good day to his mate. Yes, indeed, it is the local butcher shop. Carniceria, charcuteria. All right, let's continue. We'll see if we get into the Centro Historico here as well. Not sure. I will say, looking down at the pavement here, it's fairly clean. Not a lot of rubbish around. No graffiti on the walls, at least in this part of the city or town. You can get an idea of the businesses. Fruit shop over there closed. Monday morning unusual. This business here also not open. So don't know whether they're closed for holidays or closed permanently. Got no idea to tell you the truth. We've got the center of the city. We've got a church coming up as well. Telly Pizza over there, which is one of the most popular fast food chains here, or at least it was. Pizza delivery. I think it was the first pizza delivery business in Spain, or at least big pizza delivery. All right, now, here's the church and the castle up there in the background. The locals going about their day to day conversations. She's on the phone, but she's talking to someone else as well. Locals here catching up on the latest gossip. And a bloke over here who's done his daily praying, I would say. So 
So the church, Vienna, Iglesia de Santa Maria. All right, now, if I go up here, Refugio de la Cerveza, perdón, para el Castillo, se voy aquí. A la izquierda, ¿verdad? Aún te toca, aún te falta. Ah, sí, tanto. Si te metes por aquí, sí. Ah. La escalera. Hay una manera más corta. Por la escalera para arriba. Ah, vale, o sea que me queda un poquito, ¿no? Vale, gracias. ¿Qué tal? Y yo vas por allá, sí. escalera, o te vas por, o te vas por ahí y cuando ves, y si 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 ves, por aquí está más cerquita. Por aquí, ¿no? Gracias. Por aquí está más cerquita. Gracias. All right. Up here are the directions. Let's go and check it out. I'm going to sweat, I would say, getting up these stairs because it looks steep. But this is the way I think the majority would come to visit this castle. There it is. So it doesn't look far away, but getting up here could be an issue. Hola. Hello. All right. Up we go. Caves over here. Let's keep on going. This is the morning workout as well. Up the stairs. All right. I'm getting closer. There she is. The castle on the hill. Now, I have to work out the next way to get there. Let's see. Hola, va a subir? Aquí, gracias. Very heavily armed civil guard giving me directions. Don't know why they are so heavily armed. There they are. Obviously anti-terrorism. All right, let's get a view from up here of the city. Again, apart from the church, not much to see, I'm gonna be honest. Let's get to the top. That's the objective. All right, now let's go this way. And we'll take in the views from the very top. Beautiful day, a bit of clouds just come over, so it's a bit cooler. All right, here we go. This is the castle. Let's go for a walk around. See what the views are like from the very top, if we can. There we go. Enjoy. Yeah, so, if you saw this village, would you know it's in Alicante? Or could it be any town in Spain? That's the question. Here's the castle. Don't know what the significance of the castle is, but see if I can find some information. Let's continue. All right, now we're going downhill here. Dog's checking me out. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Ven, ven, ven. Ven, ven, ven. Ven aquí. Ven, ven, ven. Ven. Oh, it's a bit shy. A bit shy is the dog. See somebody holding a camera up here. Hola, ¿qué tal? No response from that bloke. All right, let's get some views of the other side here of the town. 
Yeah, so it's actually quite big. Surprisingly big. There we go, you can get an idea of what we're dealing with over here. Some graffiti over there. Trying to copy Banksy, I think. But obviously not as good as Banksy. And the town, as I said, is surprisingly big. Oh, but extremely ugly. Visually ugly. Fair. Un pueblo feo, I would say. Unfortunately, like many in Spain, you've got these magnificent structures here, and then the rest of the place lets us down. But anyway, what can we do? So we've got some caves there being dug under the castle by the look of it. What else we got? Let's have a look. So El Castillo, the Atalaya. It's on the Red Nacional de Patrimonio Histórico. Sounds like the National Heritage Route. And we've got here the opening hours, Monday, Tuesday to Sunday, holidays and Monday before holidays, 10 to two. You have to get some tickets from somewhere else, 150 meters away. So there we go, the Atalaya Castle. Again, not sure of the historical significance, but I imagine it was built back in the days when the Moors were being expelled from this country and they needed these vantage points to help them know when the enemy was coming. And there we go. In fact, what I'll do is just look up quickly on Wikipedia and get some background about this church. One minute. So here we go, the Atalaya Castle, in Spanish, the Castillo de Atalaya, or the Castillo de Villena, which is the name of the town in the province of Alicante. It's a fortress uh, located over a spur of the Sierra de la Villa in the northwestern part of the province of Alicante. It commands the former frontier between Castile and the Kingdom of Aragon. Let's have a look. The fortress was built in an unknown age, although not after the 12th century. Since Arab sources mention it in 1172, it has been speculated that the fortification could have been built over a Roman castrum or villa, but no proof of this has been found. The fortress was an important stronghold on the northern frontier of the Islamic Emirate of Iberia and proof of its robustness is the fact that the fortification resisted to three different sieges led by James I of Aragon. He was finally able to conquer it in 1240, sending an army led by the Knights of the Order of Calatrava. And on it goes. So there we go, a Muslim fortification which was reconquered by the Christians around the 12th century, I think. So they were set up here in their castle, looking out over the lands. And here we can see the views that they had from up here. Now we can get a, another view here on this side of the castle. Let's go down here and see. The stonework here, amazing. There's the church that we saw before, so I know that if I head down that way, I'll be able to find my vehicle again. Actually, there's a church over there, but I think the church that we saw before is that one over there. So that's a bit confusing, two churches. So what I'm gonna do is work my way down. I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna get down, but I'm gonna go this way work my way down and we'll try to find that other church and wrap the video up. So let's go. Down the stairs we go. Certainly a lot easier to get down than it is to get up. But it's all part of the adventure. Actually, we'll go this way. And let's see, let's see what we've got. 
Hola. Hola. Paina Castillo, vamos bien por aquí. El castillo está aquí justo, así que si se puede aparcar por aquí, mejor, ¿vale? vale. Está aquí justo. ¿Se puede aparcar? No sé, eso es lo que no sé. Pero hay hueco al otro lado. Creo que ah, sí. Se puede dar la vuelta. Sí, sí. Gracias. Nada, hasta luego. Some people asking directions there. Seem to have a, an Andaluz accent from the south of the country. Obviously visiting this part of Alicante. All right, let's go down. Centro Histórico. There we go, let's work our way down. And let's see if what we see in this town changes my perception of what I've already called a fairly ugly looking town or village. But anyway, let's go down. Let's see what we find. I can imagine this town in a setting of a Bourne movie. People jumping over roofs and running around these streets. It certainly has that feel about it. But again, nothing to write home about. I don't think Viena, Alicante. But I stand to be corrected, of course. Let's see what we can find. Some works going on here. Delivering a fridge. All right, this is the, don't know whether this is the Centro Histórico, but certainly one of the older parts of the town, I would say. We've got a for sale sign up here. Not sure what you would be paying for this building on the Jose Zapater Street but we continue going down. Some noise behind me, don't know what that is, but it's noisy. Let me know what's going on, if you can see. She's obviously dragging something, don't know what it is. But anyway, we move on. Now, hopefully, I'm heading to where that other church is. And I think that would be the centro histórico of this town. Let's see what we can find. See the electrical work on these buildings up there, connected to the street electricity, no doubt. Car coming up here, good luck to you. Just let me pass first of all. Muchas gracias. I think we're going to turn left. So I'm going to go back and turn left. Centro Histórico está por aquí? Sí. Sí, gracias. So I'm heading in the right direction now, given the confirmation from that lady in the car. Let's see what we've got. Castillo. Centro de Visitantes. Old guy enjoying the day here, enjoying the weather. Hola, ¿qué tal? Había una iglesia por aquí, ¿no? Grande. Una iglesia. 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 Sí, está por aquí. Sí, pero puedes salir por ahí o por aquí. Vale, pues por aquí me voy. Gracias. All right, directions down this way. Might walk his dog here. Buenos días. We've got some colorful buildings, green, blue, uh, or turquoise, type of uh, reddy color there, browny red. So putting some life into the town. And there's the church. So we can see it there. We'll have a look at that. And I reckon that'll do us for the town of Vienna. Vienna, not to be confused with Vienna, Austria. Here we go, a little square, winding roads. Ladies here having a chat, catching up on the weekend's gossip. And here we go, Ramon y Cajal. 
So what do we got there? Celebre al celebre polyphonista Villanense Ambrosio Cortez. Obviously somebody famous here. Don't know exactly who, but we'll move on. Let's keep on going. What do we got here? This is the center of the town, I think. Casa de la Cultura. Town hall building over there, no doubt. Right in front of the church. Let's have a look at this historical building here in the town of Vienna. So there's a couple of things to see here. Is it worth a stop? Yeah, why not? Check out the castle, check out the main square, check out the churches and have a look at the architecture in this town. Another emblematic building here, Casa Consistorial. So I imagine these belong to the, to the council, but I don't know whether there's people working in there or not, but the council has taken over these emblematic buildings. So on that note, I'm gonna wrap this video up from the town of Vienna here in Alicante. Worth a visit? Yeah. Is it an attractive village or town? No, but there are a couple of things to see. So if you're on the highway, driving past, stop, maybe get a bite to eat, have a drink at somewhere like the La Caña Cerveceria, get back in the car and then continue your journey somewhere else. That would be my recommendation. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. If you have anything to add to the conversation today, the comment section is the place for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Hasta luego from Vienna, Alicante.